Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. It's weather in five, five days and five minutes. And of course, the snow world's attention is focused uh, squarely on North Carolina today, where we have uh, winter weather advisories up for two thirds of the state. And then in the northeastern part of the state, uh, which includes uh, Rocky Mount and Greenville, uh, North Carolina, uh, we're seeing winter storm warnings and those winter storm warnings extend into southeastern Virginia advisories down to Jacksonville, Wilmington, uh, and then uh, on north and west up to uh, Raleigh, Durham, back to Greensboro. In western North Carolina, we have winter weather advisories and a small area on the Tennessee side uh, has winter storm warnings up. Uh, this is pretty much uh, where the mountains run. So it's, it's the uh, east facing side of those mountains that are going to see uh, more in the way of snow and you get the shadow effect and you don't see very much that happens on the other side for example in uh, Knoxville if you look across to the Tennessee on the other side there's very little going on and we uh, have those winter storm warnings as we said up into southeastern Virginia the northern extent of the winter weather advisory goes up to about Richmond I'm gonna bring the um, <clears throat> total snowfall forecast uh, from uh, the weather service uh, from all of this and uh, you uh, can uh, see what they kind of nudge their amounts a little bit higher uh, overnight and uh, we're looking at uh, some three three to five of uh, inch amounts in northeastern North Carolina southeastern Virginia where we have the winter storm warnings up and then lesser amounts on the order of one to two inches as you go uh, north and west of there, and then in western North, and Ca north Carolina from Asheville westward, those numbers uh, do wind up picking up again. Southern Virginia, uh, about a coating to an inch or two, uh, one to two inches in southeastern Virginia near Norfolk and, and um, Virginia Beach, and then uh, less than an inch up uh, for Richmond. Uh, I uh, kind of uh, went with this late yesterday afternoon. And I'm just going to stick with it. It's uh, really not that out of line with what the Weather Service uh, did uh, with their forecast. Uh, I have a four-inch area plus in northeastern uh, North Carolina. Then I kind of scale those numbers uh, down as you head uh, south and west, and also a max area in uh, western North Carolina. So I see really no need for me to uh, change my uh, my numbers here. This is um, you know this is what we're going with. And uh, looking at the, the Weather Prediction Center's uh, probabilities here, this is the probability for at least two inches <clears throat> of snow. And they've increased this also, very large area. The lighter, the uh, darker blue is for a 40 to 50% chance of at least two inches. And that uh, pink area or salmon color area that you see there, that is uh, between an 80 and a 90% probability of at least two inches. So it's a pretty good bet in the blue area that you're going to get at least two. And if we go to four, the uh, Weather Prediction Center in the blue, uh, at least a 40% probability of, of at least four in the northeastern corner of North Carolina. So I think everything is pretty consistent there. And uh, the radar this morning is loaded. I mean, you look at this, we're just beginning now to get getting precip coming into the state. Uh, there's some heavy rains out to the west. Uh, the uh, temperature profile uh, this morning is um, a rather interesting one in that you uh, see uh, temperatures that are really not yet uh, cold enough. Uh, they're starting out in the upper 30s and lower 40s. Uh, there is cold air that is coming down from the north and uh, sinking southward as winds have gone north-northeast. So as the precipitation gets underway, you're going to get uh, some cooling from that, from the, uh, the lift and the vertical motion uh, that is uh, that is going on. Plus, you have this cold air from the high that's bleeding southward. So all of this is going to get them involved, and all this precip is going to have to work its way uh, eastward. In the meantime, uh, just taking a look at the uh, new NAM model, which is uh, out <clears throat> up until about 1 a.m., uh, the uh, snow area during the day uh, just slowly expands. It's really overnight uh, into uh, tomorrow morning that you see the max area there in the eastern half of North Carolina and southeastern Virginia. Uh, the NAM, at least during the day today, uh, is maybe a little bit warmer and producing a little bit less in the way of snow, but 
we weren't really worried too much about that because the bulk of this is going to be tonight uh, for the eastern half of the state that's under the winter storm warning. And by the way, for everybody else, as we uh, look ahead to uh, the next five days, certainly the next four, including today, uh, the weather is n nice, though cold, from northeast Virginia on up into southern New England. We've got nothing but high pressure covering us here. So we've got sunshine for today, sunshine for tomorrow, uh, maybe a few high clouds in southern areas reaching up into uh, parts of uh, southern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey. Uh, temperatures are going to be mostly in the low to mid 30s <clears throat> uh, by day and teens to mid 20s. Uh, overnight into tomorrow morning and then on Saturday as winds go westerly we're going to warm up nicely here temperatures back up into the 40s everywhere and we should bounce up into the 50s on Sunday not seeing anything in terms of any precipitation right through the weekend and then the next weather system looks like it'll bring some rain here uh, for later Monday Monday night into early Tuesday as low pressure moves east and for the latter part of next week, we're going to watch for a, a second system, a second uh, system that's coming down and around, and that might cause another low to develop and impact our area uh, later next week. This might be the one hope for snow lovers if things time out right as far as uh, uh, getting some snow for the urban corridor from uh, uh, northeast Virginia uh, on up into southern New England. But other than that, uh, it's going to be a uh, really, really tough sell going forward uh, in terms of the overall pattern. So we're going to be monitoring the situation down in North Carolina and southeastern Virginia as the day goes on. Uh, so uh, we'll have uh, extra stuff on the uh, on the apps. Be sure you download the free weather apps because you can get all the snowfall forecast maps from uh, Georgia all the way up uh, to Maine and they update automatically. And uh, we'll be posting there as well as on Facebook and on the websites, meteorologistjoechaffee.com and <clears throat> nycweathernow.com, where you can find Angry Ben with Angry Ben's Angry Weather. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for being here on Weather and 5, the Joe and Joe show tonight. I'm thinking it's going to be another delayed start, so it may not uh, go on until uh, 8 or 8.30. So just letting you know that, and that's on my YouTube channel. Have a great day.